returning subscriber and if you are new welcome to the channel i'm going to be doing a bible journaling entry today in the um, day springs illustrated faith bible uh, this one is specifically the Gospels, so we're going to be Bible journaling in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11 is what I'll be reading to you, specifically focusing on verse number 8. Uh, first of all, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and I hope you consider sticking around if you're new by hitting the subscribe button as well as the notification bell selecting all that way you don't miss my next video so it has been a while since i've done a bible journaling video all i can say is that um, life happens and i i want to have more time to do this um i didn't get to do too many walkthrough wednesdays last year and i don't know if i want to call it walkthrough wednesday um, anymore. So look forward to me uh, doing some things on Wednesdays. Um, it may be earlier in the day, so and I may be doing um, specifically lives, but if you're not able to um, get on to a live, then you can always watch the replay. So I just want to uh, preface by saying that, that I want to get back to doing the Bible journaling entries and I want to do them on Wednesdays and uh, specifically lives. It'll be much easier. I won't have to go through the hassle of having to edit and all of that stuff. So there's that. So let's look at today. Today, I wanted to get this done. This is um, using the uh, elements that were contained in January subscription box, which is the faith-based box, which is a subscription sold in my shop. And I just felt like um, just from like December into January, everything has just gotten away from me. Like I said, life happens. And um, I wanted to do a Bible journaling entry specifically on Luke 5 and 8 because it's been something that has been on my heart and I wanted to share it with all of you before even getting into February, which we're in. So I'll be doing something for February's um, uh, subscription box as well. So for today, let me go ahead and read Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. And I want to be consistent with what's the version that's in the... Um, illustrating Bible, which is the NIV. So it says one day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, Gennesaret. Okay. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. The people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge, two boats left. There were the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And were, and so were John, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything and followed him. This is such a powerful um, chapter right here. 
it shows Jesus when he begins his ministry. He's really getting into his ministry. He comes and he begins to, to teach the people and he gets into Simon's boat and he asks, you know, Simon to just put it out a little bit because if you know anything about water, water amplifies sound. So I was like, wow, look, look at the, the wisdom of God. So Jesus gets into the boat. He knows that the water will amplify the sound. So as he speaks, they will be able to hear him even better. Then he says, tell Simon, tell Simon, he says, come in the boat. Now, Jesus already knew that they'd been out all night and they, they didn't catch anything. But Jesus knew that he wanted to show him that he didn't need to do it in his own strength. But if he just believed in him. He would do exceedingly abundantly and above all that he could even ask, think, or imagine. And that they did. When they went out, he caught so much fish that he had to call for help. He called his friends in the other boat. He said, hey, I need help. It was so much. And immediately Simon knew that he was in the presence of the Savior. And he, he, he acknowledged that he was a sinful man. And he said, you know, I'm not worthy. He said, please go away from me. I'm not worthy. And I think that is the same for so many of us that when we came to Christ, we, it wasn't shame, but it was an acknowledgement of, wow, I'm not worthy because your love, I don't, I don't think I'm worthy of your love, but we are worthy of his love. But we acknowledge that, you know, what we did before, we don't want to do it anymore. We acknowledged all the wrong that we did. And we acknowledge that we were just, we were just like filthy. We just weren't worthy. But God says, yes, we are worthy. And he acknowledged that. And Jesus said, don't worry. He said, I'm going to make you fishers of people, fishers of men. So Jesus said, now that you have acknowledged your sin, you've repented, you've turned away from that. He said, now I want to use you to be fishers of men. That is a part of what we are called to. We are called to be fishers of men. So the question I pose to you who is listening to me, are we fishers of men? Are we doing what we are called to? which is to be a light in darkness. Are we shining our light? Are we being that city that is set on a hill? Are we being fishers of men? Are we sharing the good news of the gospel? I'm not talking about going on a corner and shouting to the top of your voice. I'm talking about in the encounters that we have with people. Are, are we allowing our light to shine? We are living in a world where people are hurt, are broken, and they're looking for a way out. And we have the opportunity to show them that the way out is Jesus. Are we sharing with them that there is a way, that there is one way, and that is through Jesus? Are we doing that? I want to encourage you that in your going out, in your travels, in whatever you do, whether it's to work, whether it's to the supermarket, wherever you go, whoever you meet, shine your light. Carry the love of God that he showed towards you when he said, ah, your sins are, 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 are um, removed as far as the east is from the west. I wash you white as snow. I welcome you into the, into the kingdom. I welcome you. I, 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 I love you. That same love that he gave to us, we are to show it to others and to let them know there is a way out of whatever it is they're trying to find a way out of. Whatever darkness, whatever dark place they found themselves, show them the light of God. Extend a hand of brotherly love 
towards them and show them that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Show it to them. Let them know. Let's be fishers of men, which is what we're called to. So in my illustration today, I wanted to um, show Jesus on the water in the boat. And for me, I, I'm just imagining that he's in the boat, but he's just commanding not just the attention of those that are on the shore, but even the fish in the, sh in the sea and the birds in the air, they are just gravitating to him because he is God in flesh. So that's what I wanted to depict in the um, entry today to show that even the birds in the air were gathering to, to Jesus and even the fish were, were, were gathering towards him because they recognized the authority. They recognized the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he just, he just commanded such, such authority over the fish in the, I mean, the birds in the air and the fish in the sea. So I just wanted to put that into my entry today and just say to all of you, let's be fishers of men. Um, I hope you enjoyed my um, very brief, but um, hopefully impactful entry today. And if you did, like I said, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also comment below. Let me know what you think about my entry today and the passage in Luke 5 um, verses 1 to 11 where Jesus um, calls his disciples. Anyway, I will chat with you all later. Have a blessed day and weekend. Bye-bye.